Let's look at the Raging Fire and the Flaming Star Nebula. Welcome to SETI Astro. So I've never actually imaged the Flaming Star Nebula, and I thought it'd be a just, just a cool subject to do. Uh, the focal length on the imaging newt is a lot longer than the refractor, so I actually had to do a two-pane mosaic just for this little portion of the Flaming Star Nebula. So let's go ahead and see what went into this. So for each pane, I took 32 15-minute exposures. So hydrogen was 64 15-minute exposures, sulfur and oxygen likewise. No surprise, hydrogen looks great. It looks like somebody said a big vape cloud. I, I, I like the, the sound of that and the, the detail in here is just really cool. The surprising thing for me was sulfur. Sulfur filled the whole image even more than the hydrogen and its detail is just superb. It, it, it really is tons of detail on the sulfur in here. And kind of the big shock to me was there is almost no oxygen through this whole thing. There's a, a section right here by the bright star and I'm not even sure that's actually oxygen. That just may be the reflection nebula showing up in the oxygen filter stronger than the hydrogen or sulfur filters. Now looking at palettes, this is the start of the traditional SHO. Pl plenty to work with here. Um, obviously the, it's, it's all S and H, there's just a little O up here. If I was looking at just a traditional HOO, here's how that would end up uh, looking a little bit very red from all the hydrogen. And because the S2 signal was so strong, you could do something even just, just out there that you don't see very often. This is an SHH palette. Uh, I, I think with the holiday seasons coming up, it, it kind of has that, I don't know, Christmassy vibe to me. I don't know, <laughs> just <laughs> some mystical colors here um, going on. But, but with this, you can do something like add the oxygen in and we could we can go ahead and map the oxygen to like maybe an an orange. So we can map the oxygen to an orange and then blend it all together. So now this is the SHH and O3 blended image. Just you know, just something fun, something different. It's kind of kind of has a really cool look to it. And fully processing the the SHO palette. Uh, gave gave me this final result. I I do I do like it so much. It it it, re it really reminds me of some kind of a raging forest fire, and the, and the flames are coming up and kind of swirling. And as they're getting hotter, they're kind of getting whitish blue up up towards the up towards the top of the the flame structure up here. So very very well named nebula here for sure. And being a, a two panel mosaic. There's just a lot of detail down in the in the flame nebula. You know, I don't see very often. Normally, when you see images of this, it's it's taken from you know much further away. Right here's an image by Nick Perkins of the tadpoles and the flaming star nebula, and you know my my image just is this little square up here. You know, roughly my my two panel mosaic is is just this rectangle right here. So we are zoomed in quite a bit more than um, I, I think a lot of exposures are on on this particular object. For the stars, I did use my narrow band to RGB star combination, and even on the diffraction spikes, it it, it really does a, a great job with getting that more true star color in there just with your with your narrowband stars. And now adding the stars back in to our flaming star nebula, you could really, really see that it is the, the, the bright star right here driving so much of this, including a lot of the reflection up in here and ionizations of a lot of these gases surrounding it. 
And finally adding the stars back in on the, the mystical version here, the SHH plus O3 palette. I I just like this too, I don't know, Some, something about, about it uh, I, I, I do like. I've updated Astrobin with the, the Raging Fire and the Flaming Star Nebula. And if you mouse over, it does switch to the H SHH palette. I have all my acquisition details here. It, it was 48 hours total integration. A little bit of a write-up. I do have copies of hydrogen, sulfur, and oxygen to really show the difference between this and maybe other nebula you've uh, imaged. And then really there's only two little galaxies peeking through that whole structure. So the whole thing is really nebulosity and it's blocking out everything behind it. Just quite an immense field here. I've also updated my website, setaster.com. With the Raging Fire and the Flaming Star Nebula, you can mouse over and it'll zoom in for you. You can click it and get the full resolution image. And then same with the monochrome images here. I have some full resolutions if you want to click and, and just browse what, what those ended up looking like. Well, I hope everybody's getting some clear skies out there. In the U.S., we have a Thanksgiving holiday this week. So I'm, I'm really thankful for all of you guys watching my videos and uh, supporting me as, you know, we continue to try to grow our community here. It's been quite the, quite the whirlwind and I never, never anticipated anything like this. So just wanted to thank everybody. Please comment, like, and subscribe.